ready as we uh, jump up here. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> please indulge me a moment. I, I'm going to, while I um, mortify my sweetheart, I promised I would not bring her up on stage. But, uh, Amy, I see you out there. Would you please join me? I got this nice seat right here for you, babe. How are we doing on that power bank? Cool. All right, good. And I can click it with the green button. All right. All right, I gotta go for my notes because this is one of those kind of talks. But I, I wanted to take this time uh, for a little different of a talk. As, uh, as I'm sharing this message, and it is rather personal, um, I hope that you can find some value in it too. Uh, as I listen to this song, uh, it makes me think of several people. I, I think of uh, Robert and his wife, Rachel King. I, I think of uh, Francisco and Nikki Anderson. I, I think of uh, Keith and Sally Lee. You know, I think of some of the friends and couples, even outside. I, I think of Trey and Jeanette Turner. But most of all, I, th I think of you. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to share this song, and uh, then I'm going to expound. Maybe you guys need to click it.
to take this time to honor my wife. I love how our company honors couple power, but in this moment, I want to specifically chat about what this woman does. She wakes up every weekday, gets our kids ready for school. She feeds them breakfast, often with less than angelic uh, attitudes from our, uh, our little munchkins. Um, you know, she works a full-time job that she happens to love. I don't get that, but um, then she picks up the kids. Uh, you know, she take, comes home, feeds them, cleans our messes, does our laundry, washes our dishes. Uh, she has sacrificed more for this business in ways that people will probably hardly ever know. Um, and more for our team than most people will ever know. And for the most part, with very little complaining. We have a tendency to look to the person on the front lines in the field as the warrior fighting the fight to win. But let me tell you, this woman here, she is the perfect example of a champion in our home. Holding down the fort so that I can go to work on building our family's future. And let me tell you, that is not easy. When I first this, heard this song, I was, I was overcome with emotion as I thought of you, Amy. Um, I know that you, on top of all of this that you do, you take the weight of my soul. And we have been through so much at this point. Like the song says, we are so ready for better things to come. And I know the kind of crap that the naysayers and the non-believers have to say, your husband works how late, nit, nit, nit. You know, uh, he, he's, he's, you know, uh, your husband works how long, nit, nit, nit. And I know what they're, I know what they're saying, what they're insinuating, and yet you stand strong like steel. I know how my own family rolls their eyes when Amy shows up to a family function and Frank is working, and yet you stand like steel. But like the song says, you and me don't belong anymore. Not to that world. Not to that kind of thinking. Because we've been through the worst, and here we are, we have made it through the storms, and we are still standing hand in hand, you and me and our little family. That world, those people, they don't get us. But you and I, we work. We get this. And you know what? In the end, that's the only thing that matters. Because, girl, it's just you and me. You and I, you and I, you and I got to just keep believing. And if you can take the weight of my world, if you can take the weight of my soul, we are indestructible. I saw a little tongue there too, but I think. <laughs>